Zscaler is the first uh, large notable tech listing in the U.S. this year. And I have the pleasure of speaking now with Chief Executive Officer Jade Chowdhury, who joins us from uh, the NASDAQ Global Exchange in Times Square, where the share is listed. Jay, thanks for joining us today. Um, I, I want to jump right in, uh, and I'm curious to uh, why list this time. You've been around in the tech industry for decades. You've had and sold four companies in the past. Why is this the company that you're going to hold on to? It's exactly for the same reason, Alex. I did four companies. They were point products, and eventually most of the point products got sold. And then I said, I have no more interest in doing one more company and flipping it. So from day one, the desire was to build a lasting company, to build a sales force of cloud security, and take it public, and build a lasting one. So that's why we're here. And cloud security is a very large market. Break down for us a little bit more what exactly Zscaler does for its customers. Yeah, security is a complex topic. Most of the cloud, most of the security in the enterprise today sits in the data center. And that's because in the old world, employees sat in the office, applications in the data center, and you secured the office and the data center using a castle and moat approach, and through a drawbridge, you went in and out to the internet, and the drawbridge used to be appliances. Now, we work everywhere, in the office, coffee shop, airport, and even on our airplanes, and applications that move to the cloud. The security is still sitting in the data center. It's becoming irrelevant. Security must move to the cloud, and that's what Zscaler did. We purpose-built from a clean slate a platform so every user of, mm -hmm. of a given customer can have great experience while they use applications in the cloud or the internet. And it is that purposeful design that sets us apart. We did what Salesforce did to Siebel, with mm -hmm. what Workday did to PeopleSoft. We built mm -hmm. a multi-tenant application that works for the cloud. We are born in the cloud for the cloud. And when you do think about uh, these born in the cloud companies, you have some of the legacy tech providers uh, or, or l older tech providers also trying to push cloud security. The likes of Cisco, Symantec, uh, EMC, you run down the chain and they're all pushing in. With this pie growing to potentially upwards of $4 billion in the next three years, uh, mm -hmm. according to a number of the industry analysts out there, how are you expanding to grab a bit more of that pie? So some of the companies you mentioned, they built great products that were designed to sit in the data center. When paradigm shift takes place, incumbents rarely make it across mm -hmm. because the technologies needed are disruptive. They need to be built from a clean slate. Just like you can't take power generators designed for your home use and stick a thousand of them in a power plant, in a, in a sorry factory, and say, I'm a power plant. In the same way, the appliances built by traditional security companies are mm -hmm. what's known as single tenant. They really mm -hmm. don't work for the cloud. And the reason we are getting traction with all these large enterprises, whether it's GE or it's Siemens or it's AutoNation, because they see the, the value and we are securing uh, thousands of the employees that are working anywhere and everywhere and accessing applications in the cloud. So we are designed for the new world. And unless the traditional companies build something with a clean slate, they'll stumble just like Siebel and PeopleSoft did.